It's four in the morning and we're heading to Canada. officially in Canada. Uh, well, we have to still get through customs, but uh, once you cross the bridge, we're into Canada. So we made it across the border, not too terribly bad. We did get a little lost uh, right after we got over the border. Now we're on the right expressway, I believe. Uh, it's strange because we don't have data on our phones up here, so you can't use GPS, so we're navigating kind of like uh, you know the pioneers did. Oh, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles. With, uh, Paper and yeah. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock. A rock. Didn't go exactly as smooth as you want, but. Will you forget the stupid pioneers? Rocks. Well, we arrived at our destination. We have to take these boxes here inside to get set up. We're just selling shirts, no animals on this show. So, uh, but I'm gonna show you guys around as soon as we get inside. As always, while Lori is working, setting up the booth yeah. and setting up shirts, I'm gonna go out and play because that's what I do. There's a lot of really cool animals. Check out all this stuff. Really beautiful ball pythons. So guys, that is the line that's waiting to get in the show. So uh, it's gonna be really cool. Let's go take a look and see what else is out there. Back inside. So guys, first off, I wanna thank this guy right here because he saved me and he actually got my vlog camera. And these guys here, everyone out here, hey, Guys, uh, thank you for joining me and we're gonna give a little bit of a talk here but it's gonna be too boring for you guys to watch so I just wanted to say hey to everybody and tell you what I'm doing here for the next hour or so so it's gonna be pretty awesome so let's get to it one hour later I can't do the things I do in life without your support seriously every single one of you I thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh, I will continue to do everything I can do to make you guys proud so enjoy the show thank you and come visit me anytime right guys Look who I ran into, Sky Lily. Hey, we're gonna go try to find some cool snakes to handle. I don't know about you guys, but I need to handle some snakes because I haven't messed with snakes all day. So how cool is this? I mean, it's just awesome that you see chilling out with this girl here, and this girl here, and this cool snake. All girls, four girls. Wait a second, what about me? I'm not a girl. <laughs> I thought you said you are. Princess is a girl. Princess the is a girl. Wait, who's the fourth? <laughs> Everybody's a girl. Really yeah. cool snake. And these are the type of experiences that I just dig at reptile shows when I can hang out and just uh, play with animals. And it's really cool to be at this show because I don't really have to worry about a booth and uh, selling snakes. So for me, uh, I can just hang out and have a good time. And this is what I like to do when I have a good time. So the snake here has really become kind of a fan favorite. I mean, they've been kind of people been coming up, petting it and hanging on and handling it. Uh, but the interesting thing is, is that Sky Lily told me here that it doesn't have a name. So what do you guys think down in the comments what its name should be? Uh, this beautiful sun glow ball right here. Writing it down right now. <laughs> it's also she's also a girl, so oh yeah, that's just, right. just answer that question. <laughs> So guys, check out this. This is a, a banana spider. This is really cool. And I know 
Sky Lily really wants to hold this animal, so we're gonna go ahead and let her do it, all right? Reptiles do in Canada? And it's crazy too, it's like in a shopping center. It's actually about an hour before the show opens, so why don't we go take a look and see what uh, the show's all about. Look at that thing. 800 grams. <laughs> 800 grams. She's the heaviest. All right, guys, so I hear that there's an anaconda that's a little bit sketchy here. This is a yellow anaconda. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs> boop on the nose. <laughs> boop on the nose. I love anacondas. They're so friendly. Oh, now she's gone. Now she's gone. The thing that's interesting about anacondas is that they'll strike backwards like that. They don't just strike forward, they actually strike. So if you, if you touch them like that, they'll actually come around and hit you like that. And it's just kind of an interesting way of getting bit, you know? Because again, most snakes are like striking this way. These guys just look at you, can turn it like that, wham, they hit you. So, but again, this is a little baby. It doesn't hurt at all. When it gets bigger, it's probably gonna hurt a little bit. But uh, okay, bud, you ready to go back? I tell you, I absolutely love emerald tree boas. I really just have been unbelievably blown away by them since I was a kid. As a matter of fact, there was a book that I used to look at. It's called Living Snakes of the World by John Mertens. And there was this picture of this emerald tree boa that just I blew me. I, I just stared at that picture hours and hours and hours. So it's just really cool to get a chance to handle an emerald tree boa because the truth is they're typically not that docile of an animal. So a lot of times you can't really handle them. And because they have one of the largest teeth of non-venomous snakes, you certainly don't want to get bit by these guys. Emerald tree boas are absolutely amazing. One of the really cool things about reptile shows is kind of meeting up with people that you see every single year and uh, just getting experiences. These two here, I absolutely love hooking up with every time because they're uh, the, the future of like kind of animal and wildlife. You know, they're young, they're passionate about animals, and so I always get together with them and just kind of go play with some animals. So right now we're going to take out a chameleon and just have some fun. Okay, so the thing about chameleons is that they actually don't majorly change color. That's actually a myth. What they actually do is, based on their mood, they can change a little, but they won't change a lot. And as they're growing up, they do gain their colors. Like, um, I've seen babies that are green and sometimes babies that are beige. Well, as they're developing, like getting bigger, they will like start to develop their color and then that's what happens. Also, they can eat mealworms and crickets. They like to eat those. And when you want to own one, you have to put it in a big open air container like this one here that has lots of branches for them to climb on. And you also want to play with these guys because then they won't be very happy. He's, he's on my forehead. I got a baby and she female. She eats um, frozen thawed. They eat frozen thawed? Yeah. Ray, what do you think? I think it's awesome. It's so cute. Hello. And she's very friendly. She's not biting. So guys, we have a super dwarf lamp 
Sir Albino retic here. Now the thing that's really cool about the Super Dwarfs compared to a regular mainland is that they stay pretty small. Scott, you want to hold that? You want to hold? Okay, you guys, why don't you guys hold it? I can hold Now I can show you how the pioneers hitchhiked.